I mind? Is having my clothes dirty. Just, you know, just getting your stuff clean in the war is hard. And, and you know, I could use a little liner right here. And it just won't work. Sweats right off. Anyway, it's how we an artist and fighting in that sense. Well, what I did in the army, and it's different, was use storytelling, use art, in forms like this. Looks sort of military anyway, doesn't it? You know, over the top, three flanks in, on the box, jump on the pyramid, and kick the yellow thing in the ass. Yes. But I use the, the art to give people a sense things could be organized in time and space. And looks pretty organized, doesn't it? Nice 3D program, Maya. And then I write their ideas on the boxes. And then I turn on the music and I'm telling them a story <coughs> about how they're going to do the things they've been dreaming about. And that's a way <laughs> because uh, if I'm Italian, they first of all think, oh, he's kind of cute. <laughs> but what they don't realize is I'm giving them 100% more energy than they would get if I just explained it to them. First we start. <laughs> Are we ready? It would be Italian, or it would be some other language where I have permission to be me. You can make a picture bigger. If it's digital, you can make a billboard. So, in all cases where I had large groups of people to learn with, as I just went to South London, and I would tickle them in various ways. I had a thousand officers in they all came to the auditorium and I turned the lights down and I paid, played Pink Floyd's The Wall. We don't want no education. Meanwhile, in the back, along the edge, I had eight four by eight panels in black. And I spray painted in fluorescent paint on them while I told stories. The music played, and after it was all over, I went to the edge of the stage. I said, sometimes, actually, more than sometimes, energy is just way more. 